everybody. Welcome to January 2024. We are the Sweethearts. I'm Alex. On the violin, Mr. Drew Jereka. And on the guitar, coming from his own home tonight, it's Mr. Nathan Hiltz. Look at that beautiful guitar. Thank you. We are so happy to be here with you celebrating the new year on, I guess, January 6th is the epiphany. That means it's the last day of Christmas. Just mm. got that Christmas tree up for another few hours. Uh, thank you for joining us. We're going to get playing some music now. For those of you that perhaps over eight at Christmas, maybe you wound up with some heartburn. This is an old song that the prostitutes in New Orleans were familiar with called The Curse of an Aching Heart. Mm -hmm. Last eight. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> You made me what I am today. I hope you're satisfied. You dragged and dragged me down until the soul within me died. You shattered each and every dream. You knew it from the start. Though you're not true, may God bless you. Curse of an aching heart. start of another year. This is really the kickoff to the Sweethearts 2024 season. So thank you out there in internet land for tuning us in. Uh, I thought the other day, uh, as I was looking through my uh, computer, I was thinking about maybe playing a song that I had written. And I've dug this one out for you. How would you guys like to play a song called It Felt So Good to Be So oh, Bad? Oh, I love this tune. Absolutely. You know, I, I played with you for a long time before I realized that you wrote a lot of these songs. Not a lot of them. No, I know, but the songs that you wrote, I actually didn't identify them as yours. No. Oh. Because you didn't always ad, uh, announce them that way. That's true. And they fit so nicely into the repertoire. It actually never occurred to me that, that they were originals, but I love them. That's sweet. Yeah, I... I, uh, I, you, you were a guinea pig. I was just seeing if you'd fall for my, my worm, and you did. <laughs> it worked. I ate the worm. <laughs> All right. Here's a song which was not written autobiographically. Where was it? Ooh. If you think you know, right into the comments. <laughs> 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 One, two, three. 
It felt so good when you were pitching me the woo. It felt so good to think that I appealed to you. And though besotted, I already knew a love that I pushed aside. Cause it felt so good to be so bad. I couldn't help myself. Your touch was so sublime. With warring lips and soul, I stepped across the line. But when the chase was done, the thrill had up and gone. You walked away, cause it felt so good to be so bad. Lonely, and now I'm lonely, like a fool should be. Yes, the guilt began to creep while we were still entwined, and not a thing I do can keep it from my mind and now the mess that I've made will see me to my grave or the price I've paid cause it felt so good to be so bad about myself, just in case <clears throat> any of the mothers of my current or past bows is watching. <laughs> um, all right. How about uh, a little song that's been sort of circulating in my mind to, uh, this, just this last week or so. It's a beautiful one that Maxine Sullivan recorded with Scott Hamilton, and it's called Something to Remember You By. One, two, last four, please. Please give 
give me something to remember you by when you are far away from me some little something meaning love can not I will pray for you night and day for you it will see me through like a charm till you're returning please give me something to remember When you are far away from me I will pray for you night and day for you it will see me through like a charm till you're returning please give me something to remember God bless you, Nathan. Thank you. Thank you for the blessing. Uh, some of you may be noticing that uh, we're in three different locations this month. Um, it's literally far away from me. Um, yep. But we hope you feel better soon. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, I miss you being across the studio from me, but we're both feeling under the weather. We figured we'd better not try and take both, both up two colds and create a super virus. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, but Drew, while I have you uh, speaking, I thought you might let the folks at home know how they can support us financially uh, yes. and otherwise. Yes, you can support us financially by tipping us at paypal.me slash Drew Jureka. And uh, that'll be in the comments, so you'll be able to find it as a link. Um, and I'll just note that there is no need to pay for shipping or product protection. There's extra fee you can accidentally cl uh, click it so uh, just just don't bother with that because we're not going to ship you anything and uh, and you're already getting the product right now um, but uh, it really helps us out a lot uh, to do this there are costs associated with this uh, hosting and and uh, technology and uh, and it really makes us feel wonderful to know that you're there supporting us we really really appreciate all of you who come and listen every month and who contribute and if you cannot contribute we are also so happy that you're here listening uh, but uh, you can help us out by sharing the stream inviting somebody to come and watch it and uh, and pass it on it exists in perpetuity so you can send these Facebook links or YouTube links out to people whenever you want if there's one month you think is particularly good you can share it with friends and they'll be able to watch it as far as I know until uh, the sun goes nova and all the hard drives are erased. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, Drew Jureka. That PayPal address one last time. PayPal.me slash Drew Jureka. Yes, and you should see it uh, pinned there in the comments. All right, uh, this next song is called Don't <clears throat> Advertise Your Man. Uh, I will just say uh, that it is my man's birthday today. Uh, so happy birthday, Tom Parker. I'm advertising you as a good man. Um, so ignore everything that this song has to say. I'm very, very proud to call you my own. Okay. It's kind of bluesy, Nathan. Okay. I want a two, a one, two, three, and... Ah, yes. Women be wise. Keep your mouth shut and don't advertise your man. Don't ever sit around and have a conversation explaining what your good man can do. Cause these women nowadays, ooh, they ain't no good. They will laugh in your face. They try to steal your man from you. So women be wise. Keep your mouth shut and don't advertise your man. Don't be a fool. Don't advertise your man. Explaining what your man can do Cause these women nowadays Ooh, they ain't no good They will laugh in your face They try to steal your man from you So women be wise I keep your mouth shut And don't advertise your man Don't be a fool Don't advertise All right, Drew, kindly explain to the people what you're playing. Uh, this is a contralto clarinet, and uh, it is lower than a bass clarinet, and so allows me to get the, the truly low stuff. <laughs> You know, Tom and I call those uh, brown tones. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Brown you can really tone. feel the grain in the in the note down there. Very cool. You never know what Drew Jureka is going to pull out of his uh, proverbial hat, but it's time for you guys to play some sort of an instrumental, maybe something up tempo or Latin or 
<clears throat> choose your own adventure. I'm just gonna sit down here out of the frame. You wanna play uh, Melancholy Baby? Oh, I don't know if I know that one. Well, then we shouldn't play it. <laughs> How about... Uh, um, How about Limehouse Blues? Sure, Limehouse Blues. All right. You that an F or A flat? Uh, or what key? First chord C7. First chord C7. No. Oh no, maybe I'm wrong. I think that's a. Oh no, I think you're, yeah. We're in C, basically. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, you're right. All right, here we go. Yep. One, two, one. I should ask you guys, do you know, is 2020 for the year of the, you know, there's always an animal for a year, the year of the rat, the year of the horse. What is 2020 for the year of? If you know, maybe write it in the comments. Let us know what it is and what it, what it means. I'm going to otter. An otter? Or maybe a vole. Did you just Google that? No. Marmot? A marmite. (laughs) Marmot. Is that the same as Marmite? No. No, Marmite is a mineral. <laughs> Have you ever tried that stuff? 
comes in the jar with, yeah. I think it has like a yellow lid. Oh, no, lid. it's not a mineral. Uh, right. Marmite is a, is a spread, right? It's it's not to my liking. Right. Um, so let's hope it's not the year of the Marmite. Marmite. Or, or more the Marmite. <laughs> or the Marmite. <laughs> um, but it might be the year of eating tasty food. And we have a song about tasty food called the Frim Fram Sauce that we're going to uh. play for you now. I don't actually remember how this one starts, Nathan. Does it say on the sheet music? Um, yeah. Second four bars. Yeah. Yeah. I got four bars for you. Uh, uh, and it has like those shots on the Just one. Just walk up. Walk up, right? Yeah, that's right. All right. Key of F. Yeah. All right. The key of F. Frim Fram Sauce. Uh, okay. Let's do it. So I'm trying B-flat. to think of a tempo. Ugh. That's right. A one, two. A one, two, three, four. I don't want French fried potatoes, red ripe tomatoes. I'm never satisfied. And I want the fram fram sauce with the olives and fay and shafafa on the side. I don't want pork chops or bacon. Hey, that don't awaken my appetite inside. So I'd like the frim fram sauce with the uh, Austin fay and shafafa on the side. Now, hey, gal, she's really got to eat. And the gal, she should eat right. I'm gonna feed myself right tonight. I don't want fish, cakes, or rye bread. Mm, you heard what I said. Waiter, I want mine fried. And I want the frim fram sauce with the awesome fade and shafafa on the side. Oh.
are enjoying the Sweethearts January stream, the kickoff to our 2024 season, please share the stream. And if you have something to tip the band, well, it, it helps to pay for uh, keeping on the lights. The address you can send your hard-earned money is? PayPal.me slash Drew Jureka. You sounded like a, a very late-night DJ. <clears throat> That's right. You're listening to jazz. <laughs> Yes. So, uh, yes, we are supported by your tips, so do indeed visit that. The uh, PayPal link will be pinned in the comments. Oh, I can't decide what to do next. Ooh. Maybe, uh, maybe we could do a ballad. Sure. Do you want to try Stars Fell on Alabama? Love it. Sure. <laughs> Oh, is there a verse there? There is. Nice. <clears throat> See if I remember it. Moonlight and magnolia, starlight in your hair, all the world a dream come true. Did it really happen? Was I really there? Was I really there with you three, four, we lived our little drama. We kissed in a field of white and stars fell on Alabama last night. the drama your arms held a tender light oh, and stars fell on Alabama last night I never planned in my imagination a situation so heavenly, a fairy land where no one else could enter, and at the center, just you and me, dear. My heart beats like a hammer, my arms are wound around you tight. And stars fell on Alabama last
I never plan in my imagination a situation so heavenly. A fairyland where no one else could enter. At the center, just you and me. Like a hammer, <laughs> my arms are wound around you tight and stars fell on Alabama last night. I had just like I had like a cc left of air left. <laughs> it's like oh I hope he gets down to the bottom of that soon because I'm running out of air. Nice. Um, would you guys be interested in playing another instrumental? I really like the Limehouse Blues. Sure. Am I? Um, I Fancy. To think of something mid tempo that would be fun to play. But uh, um. How about, well, no, you do this one. Sunny Side of the Street is kind of fun to play, or... Um, yeah. It's on the, is it on the set, the vocal set? It's not on the set, no. Sure, let's, let's do, it. do it. I like it. All right, I'm going to uh, slide over here and check the comments and see what 2024 is the year of. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what key? F? F is good. Or C, where you just started in C? Sure, C works too. She's good. All right, let's do it. You want to play the melody? Okay. First time, and I'll play it on the way out. Great. Right, here we go. Four, two, one, two, three.
sunny side of the street. You are listening to the Sweet Hots. If you're just joining us, I am Alex Bangman. On the violin, Mr. Drew Jureka. Thank you. And brought to you through Benadryl, Nathan Hiltz on the uh, guitar. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, the courtesy of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not the normal uh, jazz musician, you know, the drugs that we typically right. think of. Not the fun ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Or um, drugs. I never ever, I don't know about you guys, I can't speak for you guys, but I was totally, <laughs> had never done drugs. And then I had my lung transplant. And I remember lying in the uh, recovery room, like in the days and weeks that followed. The first, the, the first 48 hours, they gave me some really high octane medication. <laughs> and I remember seeing wild things and... Uh, and oh, and there was like the Lawrence Welk bubble machine made it into my trip. Wow, <laughs> it was really wild the, things. The cool thing is that that's all from your subconscious, though. Even though it's a drug, I mean, it's still in your mind somewhere. It's back there. It's there. Yeah, you've got a Lawrence Welk bubble machine somewhere <laughs> deep inside your mind. I believe that. I knew that already. Yeah, actually, that, I before find you told me that, surprising is also. <laughs> I don't know because I dreamt of my husband as a monkey, so I don't know what that also. Maybe, what does that mean? Well, now uh, your man. <laughs> by the way, if you know my husband, it is his birthday tonight, so happy birthday, Tom. Happy birthday. Yeah. Um, do you guys want to try doing Dinah? Our friend Tara Hazelton had a beautiful cat named Dinah, and um, I don't know if this would be a good banjo song or not, Nathan. It's up to Why you. Why not? But I recently uh, drew a picture of Dinah for Tara. Uh, she had a she had a lovely cat, a lo- set of cats actually. Her other cat uh, was called Lester. I'm assuming after Lester Young. So I'll play I'll play contra alto clarinet on this. You play banjo. What could go we'll wrong? Just, let's just watch our viewer numbers plummet. <laughs> Nathan, you might have to like sit a little bit farther away from your microphone. You're right. You're I'm trying to think right. what we could do to make this less enjoyable. You, maybe you could play kazoo, Alex. <laughs> I don't have a kazoo. Sorry. Okay. Who am so I, the, James B? We're the try. <laughs> well, there's a like some sort of hunting horn up there. Maybe I could blow on that. All right. I mean, that would probably it could only it could only improve. Can you here. play that thing in the key of C, Drew? Yeah. In there. Yeah, man. All right. Do your worst. <laughs> Which by I mean do your best. One, <laughs> two, I want two, three, and I'm in the wrong key. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Let's That's just try that seat. again. Let's try that again. Sorry. Blame the Benadryl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Oh, Dinah, is there anyone finer in the state of Carolina? If there is and you know her, show her to me, Dinah. With those Dixie eyes blazing, how I love to sit and gaze in to the eyes of Dinah Lee, so green. Oh, every night, why do I shake with fright? Because Dinah might change her mind about Oh, Dinah, should you want it to China, I would hop an ocean liner to be with Dinah Lee.
to China Is there anyone finer? If there is and you know her Why don't you show her to me, Dinah? With your Dixie eyes blazing How I love to sit and gaze Into the eyes of Dinah Lee Oh, every night Why do I shake with fright? Cause Dinah might change your mind Should you want to do China, repeat China I would have an ocean monitor to be with Dianna Nice. Okay, We'd like turn... to thank the two remaining viewers who uh, <laughs> made it through that song. Okay. I, um, I've now turned Nathan uh, level back to guitar. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's nice to have a loud yeah. instrument, though. I mean, like, acoustically, you can't beat a banjo, really, except for, like, a trombone, maybe. You actually could beat a banjo, and it would probably uh, win <laughs> the fight. Yeah. I, I, when I already pull out the banjo, it makes me wonder how uh, how, how well licked you are by your neighbors. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's the windows closed kind of season. Yeah. Yeah. I think you'd be um, amazed how many people uh, play the banjo. Well, there's a lot of banjos out there. I mean, it used to be a very, very popular instrument. So, I mean, there must be a banjo in every attic, basically. Yes, yeah. beside yeah. the accordions. Yeah, exactly. I think. Um, <laughs> the accordion. Well, I always said that it's good. I th you know, it's, it's, not, it's good to test your relationship by bringing an accordion into it at some point. <laughs> and you get to see how things are really going. <laughs> I think banjo is similar. Yeah. There's some sad accordion player out there that, <laughs> That's right, didn't that maybe it. shouldn't take that advice. It wasn't the right the time. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't yeah. do it. Don't do it, man. Oh, well, I certainly know that one. So I have a banjo that I play uh, like once every 24 months. And I bring it out and I play it. And before I know it... My husband is gone. He's left. She's like, oh. I can't blame him. It's not that I'm bad. It's just that it's so loud. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Nathan. Pardon me. Uh, all right. Well, uh, we've got time for a couple more songs here. Uh, I thought we would do this one called Getting Some Fun Out of oh, I Life. I really hope that 2024 brings some fun for you some good health, um, some happy times. Banjos, if you're into it. Banjos. <laughs> Sub contra bass uh, right. clarinets. The largest clarinet money can buy. Is that actually the largest clarinet they make? <laughs> you know what? Actually, I don't know the answer to that. I think there is a larger one, but. What? But, like, for. I think the question you're trying to ask is why. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't know why. Well,. I, I don't know if you've ever heard those Russian, the male Russian singers who sing so low. Yeah. But I think it would have to be in that range. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's sort of otherworldly. There's sort of, there's always like a theoretical lower instrument than anything, but, but you know. There you go. <laughs> All right. Here we go with getting some fun out of life. And you'll pardon us for jib, jib, jibber jabbering, chitter chattering, but uh, back to the music now. Yeah. Hey, that sounds different. When we want to work. In that key, right? Yeah. Mm. Well, if you give me an intro, I'll sing it. Great. Here's your tempo. When we want to love, we love. When we want to kiss, we kiss. With a little petting, we're getting some fun out of life when we want to work we work when we want to play we play in a happy setting we're getting some fun out of life maybe we do the right things maybe we do the wrong they just wending our way along Wanna sing? We sing. When we wanna dance. We dance. You, you can do your betting. 
hot on, why don't you? We got about oh we got we got a tune. We got one more tune. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming tonight and sharing in the concert, our first of 2024. We are the sweet hots. That makes me, Alex Pangman. That makes Nathan Hiltz on the guitar. Nathan Happy Hiltz. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, just to screw you up, I put Drew Jereka last on the violin. And occasional contra alto clarinet when you've been bad. Contra alto clarinet. Yeah, there is a lower clarinet because there's a contra bass clarinet. Which is probably like an elephant size tusk, like a trunk size. Yeah, I mean, one would imagine. So I've never seen a contra bass clarinet, but it's it's a it's a full octave below the bass clarinet. So this is a this is a, this is in between the two. Unnecessarily low. So my question is, are you going to keep the bass clarinet now that you have the contra alto? Blah, blah, blah. Well, it depends who's asking. Oh. If you're married to me, maybe I'll be getting rid of one of them. <laughs> if you're anyone else is asking, I, I can't say for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to help Drew Jereka keep both of his <laughs> bass clarinets... <laughs> <laughs> we are accepting tips um, and all, also we love it when you share this stream with your friends the PayPal address is paypal.me slash Drew Jereka yeah we really appreciate uh, hearing from you guys seeing you in the comments uh, and of course we we love it that you're along for this we're having fun we're glad that you're having fun and we're so so grateful that you support us yeah we love to see all of you there's a lot of regulars that we've developed and we really think that's really fun it's a it's uh, it's cool to see see all of you come back every month. It means we're 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 at least not pissing you guys off too much. Hopefully, we're not too boring. <laughs> I mean, we mix um, it up with the contralto clarinet. What more could you ask? For? Yes, <laughs> yes. Who else is doing that on a on yeah, a banjo? Online Sutton concert. banjo. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> all right. I'll see you in my dreams. Is the song we will end with. <clears throat> it will start slow, and. And fast. Just like I, uh, just like my career. No, I don't know. I think my career is going the other way. It started fast, now it's slowing down. <laughs> um, wait, wait, when is it getting fast? After the vocal chorus or uh, after the first uh, solo? You'll be able to hear it from me bringing it in. You got it. It's in B flat. B flat. It starts on a D split, the last. Yeah. 
That's right. Okay, got it. You can play that as the intro, and I'll sing it very slowly. In here.